All right, switching gears now, we're bringing you new information on coronavirus every week. And today I want to talk about Idaho and Washington's new coronavirus numbers. And as you know, Idaho just went into phase two of the four phase plan on Saturday. So many people were out and about, as you can imagine. So did we see an increase in the number of new cases? So right now there are a total of 18,611 cases in Washington. 1,002 people have died. That's about 5.5% of the confirmed cases. And in Idaho, there are 2,455 statewide cases. 1,649 people have recovered, though, and 74 people have died. So if you take a look at this graph, Idaho marked in orange and Washington in blue. The difference, as we've mentioned in the past, is pretty significant. But take a look at April 3rd, which is right over over in this area, you will see the longest uh, Washington number here. It's the largest that we could see on this graph since the first case on March 14th. In Idaho, there were 122 new cases compared to that over 500 number. And this next graph, you'll see it a bit more clear. Washington on top here. There's a huge gap in between. But what's also interesting is that you can see the numbers continue to go down in Idaho and stay down. And that's a very good thing. The slope is going downward. What's kind of concerning is in Washington, you'll see that on May 16th, the number is kind of spiking upward. So we'll have to keep an eye on whether or not that keeps going up or stays steady or goes down. So we'll have to keep an eye on that.